Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage. So once again, we're working on the cab of the race truck. I'm hoping tonight that we finish up underneath for the most part. Um, after we fill all our holes and all, I'm sure we're gonna have to go back down there and clean things up a little bit. And then we will clean it up and just at least give it a quick spray bomb job under there just to get all that uh, uncovered metal, all that, you know, non-painted surfaces, get them all, you know, covered so that way we're not having rust and all that down there not that this thing's really going to be outside but we're going to start underneath with the rear cross member so when i say rear cross member i'm talking about this one back here we have our mounts in either corner but what we're going to focus on is just getting rid of this section right here so there the plan i've come up with is to just kind of cut it right here where this rib is straight down and we'll just still have this angle here and maybe eventually we will box that off um but just cut that there cut that over there i did raise it up from in the back here from where it was previously we'll box that all out and then we'll go attack our spot welds i'll try and take this out as one piece and to help us do that i finally got something that you guys have been telling me to get so I got a couple different spot weld drills here. Uh, just got these off the Amazon. Um, these, these, this type, I should say, comes with like 13 different sets of cutters. Um, so we should be able to change up. There's 13 of them and they are reversible. So we have those and then we have these two, um, which I am kind of curious to try. I remember when I used this type before, it was a bit of a pain to get it to stay on the spot weld, so I'll probably start off with this one right here, and then probably use our uh, little tools. I can't remember what they're called, but a seam splitter, seam bust, or something like that. So that's a plan. Get rid of that cross member in the back there, clean that all up, and we'll be done um, under there with all our cutting and grinding. Thankfully, it's been way too much. But once we get that done, we'll actually probably end up setting the cab back down on the ground, and then we can focus in the cab here back to the stuff we had started previously. And yeah, just try and get that much closer to being done with this thing. Uh, it's certainly gotten out of hand and taking way too long. So that's it. Let's get to cutting the grind. So we fared much better with the spot welds this evening. Those cutters worked. Uh, the only problem, and I, what I did is I drill like a little pilot, and that way we try and keep it centered, but you really gotta kind of let it get its groove before you really apply any pressure, otherwise it runs off. But we got them other than a couple of them, we went all the way through. That's all good. Um, these boxes are actually reinforced, so I don't know that I'm even gonna worry about uh, boxing them off. But I got all our sharp edges cleaned up back here. I just cut it because it's actually really close to this lip. So I just cut it and ground it down. I think that's good. Um, got a little sharp edge there. Got to take care of. Also, these corners, I kind of evened both sides up. Um, got to get rid of the sharp edges there too. Um, but other than that, this is good. Also, when I folded this thing down, we got a whole bunch more dirt out of it. Uh, fell right in my face. But uh, yeah, so like I said, we even this up. We're pretty good under here. I'm, I'm happy with it. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna clean up, sweep up all that. Well, I'll get rid of those sharp edges I talked about. We'll set the cab back down and uh, yeah, work on the inside a little bit.
We're back on the ground. Uh, yeah, we're done under there for now, other than like painting. And whenever we figure out how we're gonna fill all our holes, we have to do a little grinding to smooth that out. But other than that, all the work underneath should be done. <sighs> About time. So I figure what we'll keep doing tonight is we'll work on getting rid of some of this other stuff. Like we'll get rid of this cross member here. I'll get rid of all these little screw points. But uh, that'll be the main focus, get rid of that. Since we do have our nice Kirky seat, we will be mounting to the frame. So we'll get rid of this thing in the middle. Uh, definitely looks pretty substantial. So uh, yeah, we'll work on that and then probably pick up on all our other stuff in here that we kind of left until we uh, learned how to do spot welds. Not that we're that great at it yet, but who knows. And we do still have this where the visor was. We can get rid of that too. First things first, I got the cross member out. Um, I don't know how much of that was actually captured because when I got over there, it said my SD card was full. So I had to clear some stuff off of it. Um, anyhow, we successfully got our spot weld drilled, you know, kind of down. Uh, basically, you just got to set it on there with very little pressure, let it make its groove, and then you can add pressure, but then still it ends up skipping sometimes. It's just something got to play with and learn. Um, we only had one spot where we went all the way through. These uh, seam busters certainly helped with the whole thing. Uh, you could, if you didn't have one drilled all the way, you could start, apply a little pressure and then drill and then it would pop and, you know, try and save from drilling down into, you know, hold more holes into the cab. So we are getting the hang of the uh, spot weld driller. And uh, yeah, thank God, I'm tired of messing with them spot welds. Uh, I am certainly no body man, and I don't think I will ever make a career change to be one. That sucks. That really sucks. Very time consuming and not any fun at all. So another thing, just, uh, you know, we cut all them cross members out. We cut that out. You see the floor. I don't know if you guys can see that. It does flex a little, but it's not bad. It's just right in the center here where it would be under the seat. The same thing over there i mean but it's not bad honestly for having all the cross members in the bottom out and this one up here i was kind of worried when we started this that hey maybe that's the only thing supporting everything but nah we're good it uh it's definitely solid enough so i'm um, sitting here just trying to figure out where to go next i think what i'm going to try since i feel pretty confident with the spot weld drill at least here where it's easy and you know you're pressing down i think we might give these a shot around the back window um they're certainly going to be hard because we're not pressing down like the floor but also there is like a gajillion of them so we'll give that a try i'll start in this corner here see how we make out but uh i'm not looking forward to it This uh, this piece, definitely a little bit more of a pain in the ass with the spot welds when you can't get over top of them. Uh, but I got that outer piece off. And I think I'm actually gonna leave this inner piece. What I'll do is just slice it right here because if you look at where we had shaved it down before, it's just weak. Uh, but this, this is still pretty strong. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just clean this up. Um, this side's not too bad, but we'll clean that up a little and then up here, we'll grind it back and do the same as we did on the bottom. Just smooth that over, get rid of the sharp edges, and we'll leave that 
that other layer to keep that little bit of strength. But I got looking at this piece here and it was just held up here with this foam. So we'll slice that. I think we might actually be able to slice it over here, um, but we'll figure that all out and figure out how we're gonna get this all off later. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do it so it doesn't look like too awful. Not that it should really matter, but just I'll figure that out, but I don't want to go any further um, because then we're on the outer skin of the body here and it's it's pretty much right up against it. So we, uh, we'll we figure that all out. That'll probably, probably be the next time we work on it. Um, we'll get that, straighten this out, and then we'll get to fixing this stuff we had before and try and wrap this thing up. Um, I'm saying that like we're going to be done soon. Um, but we got stuff up here we can get rid of. Um, but once again, we'll probably do the same thing. Leave this all doubled up um, just for some little bit of support. But like this, uh, this can go. It's not doing anything. So, yeah, a lot of um, a lot of crap to do. So, guys, we got a couple. Well, we got a cross member out. Uh, we really. Well, no, we got the inner cross member for the seats. We got that one out too. Um, so we've got some more metal out of the truck. Um, really kind of honing in on the spot welds when you go when you're going straight down it's easy or easier but anything else it's a pain especially you get a little curve in there but oh well it is what it is um we're on our way it's time to just dial it in on the cab get this all wrapped up so we can get to put it back on the frame figure out our cage stuff and all that um a lot to do a lot to do so i hope you guys enjoyed I'll catch you guys in the next one. Get out in your garage. Get the wrench on your truck.